Hey Grace, have you ever wondered what it takes for us to use our credit, debit, or even EBT cards? I guess I have, but it seems too complicated to think about. I just like to imagine little green men taking the imaginary money from my plastic card and putting it into the credit card machine. I see what Phil was talking about filming with you. Before we get into this incredibly important topic, make sure to like and subscribe. On this channel, we talk about all things small business, so be sure to support us if you're into it. All right, so what is payment processing? It's the backbone of how businesses handle payments. Payment processing is the service that handles the transactions between a customer and a business. When you swipe your card, tap your phone, or use EBT, the payment processor makes sure the money gets from your bank to the business's account securely and quickly. So it's like the middleman for our money. Absolutely. But it does more than just transfer the money. It ensures the transaction is safe by encrypting your payment details and verifying that the funds are available. Think of it like a financial security guard. Okay. Choosing the right payment processor is like picking the right pair of shoes. You want something that is comfortable, supportive, and that looks good. They should have clear fees, reliable technology, and great customer service, which we do. Okay, I get it. But how does it all happen so fast? Well, the payment processor uses high-speed networks and advanced technology to communicate with banks and financial institutions in real time. It's a bit like a super fast relay race where your payment information is passed along and confirmed in seconds. That sounds super efficient. Are there different types of payment processors? Absolutely. Some are dedicated online transactions while others focus on in-person payments with physical card readers. There are also those that specialize in helping businesses accept EBT, which is great for places like grocery stores, even farmer's markets. So businesses really rely on these payment processors to keep things running smoothly. <laughs> Absolutely. Without the different types of processors, businesses would struggle to be able to process all the different types of cards that are out there. Hmm. It's all about convenience and security. Plus, it's crucial to choose a good payment processing company. A reliable one will never hold your money and will have transparent fees. Speaking of fees, how does that work? Well, payment processors charge fees for the services usually a small percentage of each transaction, and sometimes a flat fee. There are also options like cash discounts, which would negate your fees by passing them on to your customers. Mm. It's important to understand these fees so you can manage your business costs effectively. A good payment processor will be upfront about their fees and won't surprise you with hidden charges. How do businesses actually get their money? Great question. After a transaction, the payment processor groups transactions into batches, typically at the end of the day. These batches are then sent to the business's bank account. This process ensures that businesses receive their money quickly, usually within a couple days. What about those situations where money gets held? How does that happen? Sometimes, the bank might hold funds if there's a suspicious transaction or if the business is new and needs to build a transaction history. We as a processor don't hold your money, but the bank might. They have to verify that there's some information that's missing, but we would let you know of that beforehand. Mm, okay. This is to protect both the customer and the business. It's a good reminder to always communicate with your payment processor and understand their policies. We know it can be frustrating when your money gets held, but it's usually a temporary measure while the bank does some extra checks. Think of it like a speed bump on the way to the bank. A speed bump? Good analogy, but still annoying. Absolutely. And what about the merchant ID or MID that I've heard about? Well, the MID is a unique identifier for a business with the payment processor. Only the person who signs up for the MID can manage it, which adds an extra layer of security. This ensures that the only authorized individuals can access and manage the business's payment processing. This is fascinating. I had no idea there was so much going on behind the scenes when I pay for something. Right? It's pretty amazing how something we do every day has such a complex and efficient system behind it. 
Thanks for breaking it down for me, Sean. I'm definitely going to appreciate the tech behind my purchases a lot more now that I know why businesses, especially small ones, need reliable payment processors to help them grow and succeed. Anytime, Grace. Now, let's enjoy our coffee and think about all the smooth transactions happening around us. Remember, every time you swipe, insert, or even tap and go, there's a whole world of technology that makes it all happen. Cheers to that again. I'm Sean. And I'm Grace. We'll see you next time with more exciting small business news. Believe in small business. You're a hoy, I'm Jennifer Cool. Okay, that is a bad impersonation. <laughs> Terrible, bad.